Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdoms of Amalur. So I'm back at the uh, Henge or whatever and yes, I was right. The Shrine of Air is way up there. So let's get on that, shall we? And um, I suppose the Condor will just meet us there because she's magical and can teleport like that. How lucky of her. I will crack you, run! Really? Oh, fuck. There I go. See, I don't know why she won't do it. I mean, I'm clicking like you're supposed to. And there's a troll there for whatever reason. Are you another silverback tr Oh, are you guys fighting each other? Oh, how wonderful. Let me interrupt. Let me actually use my fate mode. And use all these weird spells that I never use anymore for whatever reason. Oh no, I didn't finish him in time. Shit! <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying enough attention to the actual- oh my gosh. The actual, the thing magic fate. I was just so preoccupied with like slashy slash. That's disappointing. Where do you guys keep coming from? Jeez, stop it. Stupid bloody annoying things. Well, that was dumb of me. <laughs> okay, well anyways, let's go that way, right. Our fate meter is half full again anyways. Another one? Seriously? What is with you guys? You want to turn off everywhere, don't you? I mean, you're really not welcome. I don't know if anyone told you this. Ow. Oh. I'm not doing much to him. Stuck in animation and a dark backswing. Yeah, saw that coming, but still didn't dodge it. Okay, let's. Tr oh my gosh. I mean, let's try to slow you down a bit. Don't dodge towards it, idiot. <sighs> I press the dodge, but it doesn't help. Let's get another ice thing up, because it does help to have you slowed. Stop dodging the wrong way, it's fucking annoying as shit. Oh, I'm losing tons of fate, thanks to being hit all the fucking time. God, you guys are tough without fate mode. There we go. My goodness. What an annoying little 
not very little troll. <laughs> Alright. Hello from Diodorus to the Trolls. Brothers and sisters, I write to you in the name of Athene. Blessed be her name and the names of her followers. O great trolls of the mountains, you who tra or shake the ground beneath your feet, who fear nothing save the wrath of Naros, who crush rock and crumble stone, I offer wisdom. What is wisdom? It is the gift of Athene, the goddess of the morning sun, who enlightens the world from the highest of thrones. She is the wisest counsel to Naros, who heeds her call. Yes, even Naros. Even the densest, densest of rock yields the chisel, and so should you, or so should you too, trolls of the mountains, yield to the mind of the great goddess. Yeah. A pistol too. I feel like I might have read that before. I'm not quite sure. There's a thing that I'm missing. Oh no, not enough mana. There's a side quest up here this whole time. My gosh. You're a little late to the party. Let me loot all your stuff first, though, because that's just what I do. Who wanders into my camp? What is this? You are far too small to be a colossi. You're behind the times, so aren't you? So it's true, then. The really beckoned has behind come. the times. You live in this Jotun camp? This is my home, but not for much longer. I moved out here to reconnect with my roots, you see. My heritage as a giant race. However, my time on my own has come to an end. I am ready to take the next step and go and live amongst the Jotun of the Teeth of Naros. Why? There are only loose ends that need to be taken care of, but I have sworn off Idilla for all days I have left. You want to live with the Jotun? Karunk was my chief concern with me trying to move in with the Jotun. Now that he is dead, it seems to be the perfect time to do this. The logical step is that I must live among the Jotun. Yes, I do. I have lived on my own in this abandoned Jotun camp long enough. <laughs> Your voice acting is really quite... Uh, subpar. No, I can't! Would you? <laughs> I will reward you for your help. I will not be needing the coin where I am going. I want for my family ring, currently in the hands of my brother Heliodorus and to see my journal delivered to my old comrade, Darius. But, perhaps most of all, I want you to find my wife, Corina. I... I would like you to bring her here to me. Oh my... Goodbye. Oh my... You're really behind at times, dude. Can I read his journal? Research. I've come to the conclusion that life is what we make it. There is a collective consciousness that pervades us all. This determines us. This makes the moments of life interminable. There are few things that tap into this. This pen is like so many things, and yet it seems sharper, distinct. My script is angular and is the proper utensil to use for this task. Is it so, or do I make it so? There is no answer to this. I now know that there is only the complication of the question. This question and others that have come to me while living here in Idilla among the Colossi. Everything is fabricated from the pillars to the closing. There are impediments to impediments, and every night among the heavens only every night among the heavens only follows a day amidst cloud. I tire of this place and these people, this life and these ways. Were it only the troubles of a complicated life, I could perhaps bear it. But it is more than that. It is the uncertainty of this existence, the tenuous grasp of the real. 
There was nothing tangible, only imagined tangible, and there was no way to separate my thoughts and the feelings from what they f in here. And the Colossi never questioned this. They instead heaped praise upon the uncertain, foppish rulers and the imaginary figures of their religion. We have lost the stone that is our nature, and have become deliberate and foolish creatures. Our nature is hidden behind a veil of philosophy and fashion, politics and law. It does not need to be this way. Take, for example, the Jotun. Their way is direct. Their existence is simple. Theirs is a truth, if ever there be any. Rather than live with my hands in the sky, I will join them with my feet on the earth. Interesting. So you're... Hmm. Discontent. <laughs> I guess that's the word for you. Discontent with the life that you have led among the Colossi. I don't blame you. They seem a rather- oops. I thought I was on one. What the fuck? Why are you- Oh, I'm out of mana. That's why. Whatever. I hate that sprites take so much dodging. Huh. They're annoying. Fucking hell. I know that when they disappear I have to dodge preemptively, but... It's not always simple because I'm always stuck in animation. Is it? There it is. What is that? I've never seen that... that symbol before. I guess we shall go see. I don't get it. There's nothing here. Do you get healed here? I notice my health is full for some reason. The tragedy befell these giants. And in trying to force the Hyperion upwards, Athene was angered and made her rage known. So the life was driven inside. <sighs> Faith. I kind of want to get hurt now so I can come back here and test that theory. <laughs> okay, where do I have to go? Histis' tasks? What about the litany? Another troll, oh gosh. Let's not aggro that. We don't even have fate mode. Although it would be an ideal place to get hurt. Another another camp. Baronax camp. Hello there, Beckoned. Been travelling in the teeth of Naros? Yes. I have this journal for you. This this is Histus's research. So that must mean he is preparing to go live with the Jotun. I cannot say I completely agree with Histus's methods, but I can respect his intent with his research. Thank you, Beckend. Wish him the best for me. Is it just me or is his teeth, like, appear more when he talks than the other guys? Hello there. Oh. I didn't even know I had to deliver the journal. I don't think he ever said. And whoa, magic pot. Alright, what do you want? You must be the beckoned. 
the blessed visitor from an unknown land. But perhaps, if you have the strength to reach these lands alone, then you are strong enough to aid me. <laughs> this perspective is so weird due to her size, my size, and the perspective of that leg there. Just looks odd. What do you need from me? I have been studying the trolls in the area and have seen something of great concern. The trolls have unearthed a number of urns which possess a deadly magic. They are curious. For as long as we have been here, my people have not encountered the like of these urns, nor the ashes they contain. I lack the strength to face the magics of these urns, but Athene is in your thoughts. You could destroy them. Wait, what? Why would I destroy them? What kind of magic is this? The trolls believe these urns to be artifacts of the god Naros. But the ashes they contain have a vile, corrupting magic. Huh. I fear what may happen if the trolls are left in control of these urns. Oh my gosh. And the power they contain. Do I have to go to all those little troll alcoves that I found before? Thank you for your help with this. The ashes contained in those urns are too dangerous. Safe travels. I knew it. Fuck. Fuck. There's just three. Okay. Beckoned. Ooh, what the hell's that? A hammer. Hammers are so uh, not my style. Um. What is... oh, it's just... okay. I thought there were other services here, but it's just her camp. So. Should I go to the altar? I feel like if I go to the altar, it's gonna set off some things in motion that I can't go back from. There you are. Eh. Not that great. Okay, well let's go to Nixaros. <sighs> of course there's two Nixaroses, so... Gotta walk around to the other one. I mean, I might as well do this now, cause... What what is it? It's not on me. What? I don't get it. That's weird. If I lead him out here, do I not get affected by the dark shit? It kinda looks like it. Cause it- I see it trying to- Trying to do something, but it keeps going away. Yeah, I just got some weird effects and then it just went away. That's really weird. You know what? I haven't done in a long time. It's this. Maybe it will help. It'll get um, health for me and it'll draw attention away sometimes. There, health. There we 
go. Ooh. Uh, that's a more melee thing. What do I do to it? Oh. <laughs> that's simple enough. No. <gasps> the litany's in there. Shit. Oh. Alright, well, I guess we're going in. <laughs> I know, like, I keep getting sidetracked by the side quests, but... Like, honestly, I feel like I'm nearing the end of the whole DLC, and I don't know if I can get back in here or not. So, I'd rather get it done than, like, regret not having done them. Where is this? I don't know. Wow, that's a l There's even a troll down here? Oh my gosh. Where's the pile? Huh. Entry 1. Hurix was right to say this place is mad. How could this place have been built? I would have figured that 200 masons might have built this place, but it was only three. Siblings, I was told, from the Rotellos clan. I've looked at the opening chamber and I'm already dumbfounded. Three masons built this complex, beginning their carving soon after we came into this new land. Madness ran in the Rotellos line, and to think that all of the generation would feel the call of insanity so greatly. It is upsetting. But they have died in the completion of these halls. I aim to survey them and, perhaps more importantly, reclaim the treasure set to be stored here. Treasure, huh? Interesting. Alright, but, um, huh. <laughs> I guess before I go too far in here, I will cut the video off and start a new one. So, see you guys next time.